Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. I am Andrew the Collector here once again with a deck profile that will be good for link formats. Um, it is Artifact. Um, I think that it will be good for uh, the link format because you don't really go into the extra deck too often. And when you do, it's usually like just one at a time. And a few of these cards, I butcher, I'm going to butcher their names because I don't know how to pronounce them, so I apologize in advance. So let's get into it. All right, so first off, we have three Bagot Beagle Tech. Beagle Tech. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, the only reason I know it is I actually tried Pure Artifacts once. Yeah. Okay. Um, so three Beagle Tech. Um, I would run. I don't. I would rather run more Moral Tech than him, but Moral Tech is only at one. Um, so until he gets, um, while he's still at one. Um, still a good card tech because that's 21 defense and decent effect when you need it. Yeah, it helps trigger your other artifacts. Hopefully next bandless moral tech will go to two like in the OCG. Maybe. Next is artifact... Caduceus. Caduceus. Um, they all share the same effect when um, you set them as spells and traps and if they're destroyed by a card effect they get special summoned. Um, his effect is uh, when he's special summoned, um, each time a artifact is um, destroyed or... Special summoned. Yeah, every time an artifact mo a monster is special summoned, you draw one card. So, run three, no less. It's good draw power. Then next is two artifact scythe. The one that everyone is running. It's really good, especially... Um, um, good that uh, against decks that uses the extra deck because when it's special summon your mo opponent can't use the extra deck Even if this card leaves the field, which is probably the most broken part The next is chakram um, It's a decent ch tech choice. I mainly have it in here for its uh, defense capability and just for targets um, next is to Artifact Lancia to prevent your opponent from banishing stuff, stops ABCs, blue eyes, and so forth. Infernoids. Infernoids too. That's a popular side deck choice. Yeah. It's actually a main deck in a couple of decks in the OCG. Dinos, don't forget dinos. Yes. Then we have just the one-offs, again, for more targets and special summonings. And then the most important one, Moral Tech. When it's special summon, destroy one one uh, card your opponent controls. Doesn't target. Does, yeah, does not target. That's it for the um, artifact monsters. And we have two Christia because these are fairy types, and he's still broken. I would, um, I, I'm fine with just um, being at two, um, because three is a little clunky. You don't want to see more than two in a hand at a time. And then one card card D. Since you set most of the time, this is a really good tech choice. That's it for the monsters. Now for the spells, we have three artifact ig ignitions. Really good tech. Um, target one card, uh, one card on the field and destroy it. You can destroy your own, obviously. Destroy the artifacts. And when you do, um, you can special, um, you can set an artifact directly from your deck. And the best part about this is that if it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect, they skip their next battle phase. So that's really good. And it's a quick play. And then next is uh, two Pot of Dualities. You need three. Three, yes, that's why I have you, Scott. <laughs> and next is three Double Cyclone. Um, I'm running this, obviously, um, other than um, Twin Twisters or the regular MST, because not only does it do the job of those cards, but it also benefits you in the process. And finally, just two Dark Holes. Um, I would think about putting in a Regeki too, but I can't find the space for it. I'll leave comments if you have any suggestions. Now for the um, traps, probably the most important tech in this entire deck is Artifact Sanctum. You, you activate it, uh, special summon a more artifact directly from your deck to your side of the field, and then they get their effects off from that. And if it's destroyed by uh, opponent's card effect, that you can destroy one card on, on the field. Which does target for some weird reason. It's like, Moral well, Tech doesn't target, but that does. And one of the best combos I like to do with these and Ignition is that if, let's say, it's face down and they target it with a Twin Twister, you activate it, get its effect off, and then it still gets destroyed by your opponent, so you get that last effect off on both this and Ignition. So that's a really good plus off for, for those in, if you, in case you don't know. And then everyone plays Cosmic Cyclone with the new structure that comes out, we all cry. 
And probably the funniest tech choice in here is Malevolent Catastrophe. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's pretty much Heavy Storm in Mere Force form. Because when your opponent um, declares an attack, you can activate this and destroy, and it destroys all spells and trap cards on the field. And after that, your mon your artifact effects go off and pr and stops your opponent's plays from there. So yeah, three really funny, no less. And then obviously, Solemn Strike, Brig Solemn Brigade. You should know why. It's Solemn's, of course. And now for the extra deck, again, um, I don't run links in this because I only go into the extra deck like one at a time. Um, two Pallades, the best level five, I think, in the game next to the artifact one, which I'll get to in a second, but I run two, I would like, I run two of him because he's probably the one I go into the most. And then just, um, the next one is Durandal. One thing Scott told me is, uh, is the funniest thing is that they activate Pot of Desires, they activate this effect, destroy one spell or trap card on the field, and they still banish the top 10 cards of their deck. Mm -hmm. Really funny. So probably uh, the second best next to him. Can't tell which one um, would be better, but I would run a second one, but I don't have a second one, so I'm just stuck with just one. Yeah, the other thing to note about Durandal is it's got that second effect as well, where you detach the material and both players shuffle all cards in their hands and their decks and then draw the same number of cards. Yeah. Really good disruption effect. And then other than that, just um, regular rank fives, uh, Vol Volcasaurus, Windup, Ninja, um, Quantum, um, Armageddon. I would run the other guy, but I don't have him. Um, M7 for... I was, to, I was about to say, where the hell is he? <laughs> yeah, M7 for Pallades. Um, him. I don't go into him as often. I think I would take him out for the second Durandal, but he's there in case I need him until then. Um, Shark Fortress and number 14. Probably the most interesting tech I have, again, I may not go into this, but I'd rather have it if I need it, is number three, number C39, Utopia Victory Ray and Leo Arms. It's a really good combo. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I'm not your teacher. Question, why no Gaia Drake? Don't have it. Uh, that's the best reason to not have a card in there. Yes. Oh, hi, Eric. Oh, hi. Back to me. All right. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you for um, checking out this deck profile. As always, if you have any suggestions, leave comments down below. Um, this is in honor of my friend Scott, who um, unfortunately is no longer with us, so. Hey. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Not, not dead. dead yet. He will be. Oh, is that a threat? <laughs> yes. All right, um, thank you guys, and we will catch you guys later.